Meanwhile, in the Steam review section of Monster Hunter World. Early game. This set looks awesome. I'm gonna wear this forever. Late game. I look like a clown, but I hit like a truck. Make my PC like jet engine. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Sorry, your connection to this review has been lost. Recreated my cat in this game, and she is actually doing something for once. By the way, weren't you gonna like tell a story on stream that you talked about like last time? Like, almost? Uh, a horrible food experience. Oh, I guess I've had many, but the one that really um, sort of stings out of my mind is there was one time where I was having a little late night snack. <clears throat> oh god. Um, and uh, I went downstairs and I thought, what's, what's the. A, a, a good little treat? when you're a bit peckish and you can't make too much noise. So I thought, how about a sandwich? It's simple, you know? We have some bread, some cheese, some pickle, whatever. So I thought, that sounds great. Got some bread, um, got some cheese out the fridge, got some pickle. Uh, started to assemble what I thought was a lovely sandwich. Um, you know, had some, d some double Gloucestershire with a little bit of chive, right? Some Branston pickle. Don't know if you have that in, 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 in Dutch or wherever you're from. <laughs> um, and me and myself, this really lovely sandwich. Anyway, took it upstairs, started to eat it, just watching a film. I get halfway through the sandwich and then I taste something quite funny. And at the start, I was just kind of like, oh, it's probably just, just the cheese or something, you know, whatever. Fancy cheese, fancy taste. Um, um, I'm expecting mold. And uh, <laughs> I turned the sandwich over, and almost the entire fucking bottom of the sandwich is just all mold. Oh! And I've already eaten half of it. Oh, oh. god. Oh. <laughs> put it back down on the plate, went straight to the toilet, like, put my fingers straight down my throat, and was like, Bleh. it was like, barfing all of it up. Oh, I... man. You know what? It, for for, for mold though, it didn't taste that bad because it was okay. It was only that like taste in the middle part that, that really kind of uh, sucked, threw me off a bit. Yeah, I guess mm. I just kind of thought, oh, this is you know, it's, it's good cheese. Yeah, but it turned out to be bad bread. Oh, <laughs> I knew it was gonna be like fu like fucking mold. I yeah, fucking it's... knew it. <laughs> it's not that terrible, I guess, but um, like every, to this day now, every single time that I get anything, whether it be like out of the fridge, whether it's out of a can or in the jar or anything like that, I always take my time checking it to see if there's any mold or anything like that. Because you know things like like jam is really deceptive. <laughs> jam can mold really quick if you use like slow the lid open or if you don't put it in the fridge. Anything that. Um, has kind of like, uh, like like pesto as well. Pesto has like the same kind of thing, which is like, oh, we must consume within like X amount of days, like a week or something. Yeah. Anything like that. If you just like forget about it for a couple of weeks and then go, oh, look, I'll have some like pesto pasta or something. And then you open that up uh, and then you just pour it all in without looking, eat it all up. And then when you like wash the wash the little, little pot out, you just realize all the mold on the, on, on the lid. Fun yeah. Man. I always double check, triple oh. check. I don't know about like Twitch TOS or anything, but I'll keep it. Um, all I'll say is one time I was with a girl um, and uh, we were just doing things. I'm sure you know what I mean. Yup. And <laughs> obviously there was no lights on. Everything was really dark. Um, and my hand kind of felt a bit clammy, let's say. Oh. So I was wondering, oh, don't don't worry about hygiene, Tom. You know, worry about getting that knee up in places. <laughs> Again, I don't know how like Twitch TOS <laughs> is so. You're a. Uh... Um, you're speaking in synonyms, it's fine. Exactly. Um, I was swinging my sword, and she was... Holding the sheath. 
holding my sword very vigorously. <laughs> oh! Oh! Um, I think she wanted to sheath it, and I said, go for it. So she did, and she was sheathing and unsheathing quite a lot. Um, to the point where things started to feel a little bit blunt. Um, so it's a, it's a I checked my sword <laughs> there was rust and on found it. that there was a lot of rust. There was a whole lot of rust on the sword. Uh, so what I did was I turned the light on to see just how much rust is on this sword. <laughs> and to my surprise, there was rust all over my bed and there was a handprint of rust on the pillow <laughs> next to my head. Uh, to which point I said, we should probably get some WD-40 out and remove this rust. To which point she said, let me grab all of your bed sheets, rush off to the bathroom, and remove any trace of rust. <laughs> and now I have a really weird thing about periods. <laughs> I just love this. And for some reason, I picture you in like a medieval knight outfit. So there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is one of the funniest fucking things I've ever heard. <laughs> but at the same time, you. It was very gross, and I never want that to happen ever again. <laughs> because that truly. I had, I had white bed sheets, man. They were pure white, they were clean. <laughs> I'd made the bed like a couple of days before because I knew that she was staying over. So I changed everything thinking, oh, it's going to be all like, you know, nice and fresh. You know, oh, be a, be a good little gentleman. And then she splooges all over it, ruins everything. <laughs> oh my god. It's definitely something that will <laughs> stay with me for a while. Yeah, with well, me too. Like, oh my god. I remember oh. telling my friends about it. Um, uh. And uh, <laughs> one of my friends was like, I would have loved to have been there. And I've been like, no, you wouldn't. You would have not wanted to be in that situation. Oh, and then she. <laughs> then when she went off to the bathroom and she, like, uh. She was she was really effective with just kind of going like stripping the bed sheet off, going Ooh, straight there, washing everything, bringing it back. <coughs> um, I was I was just sitting on my desk chair. I was I was sitting bollock naked on my chair with a boner, not knowing <laughs> what the fuck to do. And then she comes back in with all like wash sheets and everything. And then she just noshes me off, and I'm kind of like, what do I do? Am I enjoying this? I don't, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> very awkward. Very weird. Oh my god. <coughs> I was, I'm still to this day just confused. Such an awkward boner. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I can't exactly say no to that. Like, what was I to do in that situation? Was I say, "Oh, sorry, the moment's gone now"? Because I kind of, I kind of still wanted my D to be sucked. So, <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> Ha ha ha.
again, I won't mention any names because that would probably be a bit embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> for everyone involved in that story. I mean, it's not like it's your current girlfriend. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing. We we actually broke up like a day after that, and she was like, "Why are you breaking up with me?" I'm thinking, are you kidding me? It's not the same anymore. <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? Like, what, what do you expect to happen after that? I'm scarred for life. <laughs> I can't trust my sword near you. <laughs> you rust all over. <laughs> All over my sword, man. I think, like, making up all these synonyms instead of, like, saying the flat out thing, it makes it worse. <laughs> oh, it definitely makes it worse. Because it makes you think about it more. It makes you think, what does he mean by sword? What, is, what could he possibly mean by rust? Ugh. And, and, and for the next few days after that as well, my room smelled like old pennies. Cancel my appointment with the doctor. I think I've been cured. I mean, 10 out of 10, dude. <laughs> yeah, that night was zero. Minus 10 out of 10. That was an awful night. Super sexy fan art. Mm -hmm.